Yes. What if your employer does not fulfill what are called his obligation? Yes, we've come to these companies or you've come to some of these companies where we are. It may be security company, it may be cleaning company, it may be housekeeping company. These are all not the same companies or they are not the same management. What happens or what do you do if your employer fails to fulfill what is his obligation? What obligation am I talking about? I'm talking about the obligations as they are signed or what was actually agreed upon in the contract. Yes, so most of the times or most of us or you may be out there, you've gotten into this kind of situation whereby either you are not paid in time, either you are demanding more salary of more months, either the living conditions are not good, either you're not being compensated for your food, or you are even denied of what you call medical. Yes, we get through all this when we are in these companies. But remember, when you came to this company, you signed what you call a contract. And that contract has terms and conditions or what you call the terms that you are supposed the, that that's supposed to bind you, you and the employer or your sponsor in one way or the other that I can say. Something that you need to remember. If something like for that situation gets a little bit higher on you, let's say for example, your employer or your sponsor is bleaching what was agreed upon with the contract. My humble advice or my advice to you is do not badly take up the, the matter very fast on fire. Talk to the human resource or talk to the people responsible in that company. Express or hide out what is your complaint to them. That complaint can be in writing or can be even to what you call the immediate supervisors. What I used to do myself, I used to write and I would coordinate everyone that I think is supposed to supervise me. I don't know how many of you you have, but I had a chain of five from one supervisor from another supervisor until you can reach the final person. So what I used to do is I used to draft a letter and carbon copy each and every one I would give a copy. Such as at the end of it all, no one says I do not have a copy for that. But when you think of situations by whereby you want to take up what you call the legal matters against your employer, most of the time you may end up failing. First of all, if you fail to a situation that you failed at at most, you fail to get help, that is when you can go to another level of taking up what you call the legal matters. But remember, before you go to take up what you call the legal action, you must be having sufficient evidence to back you up. Otherwise, when we are taking what you call the legal actions, something that needs to come into your mind, you must have enough evidence for that. You must have supporting documents that are going to crew you up and take you on, which you must remember in one way. But again, also, as you're taking up the legal matters to your sponsor, who gave you the visa to come, something that you need to understand is what do you want as a person that is one? What is going to be the cost? The cost we are looking at in very many times, or very many situations. We may look at the transportation. We may look at uh, the time that will be wasted. But does that legal action against your employer lead to financial distress? That is a question that you need to ask yourself. There are what you call the cold damages. What you call the cold damages. Yes. If you take up that legal action against your sponsor, and there will be what you call cold damages, what you call the financial damages, and you have enough supporting documents, or evidence to back you up, then you have a line to go ahead. But if you feel you don't have enough supporting document, you may not end up. You may end up not winning and you become a loser in one way. 
So most of the time, let us try to think about such kind of situations. When we have this, can this make me move here? Can this make me do this? Can this make me do this? This is what they will be able to do. Hope I tried to share something for you. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video. It's Max. Next Creation TV at Instagram. A link is Samuel Jersey. A TikTok account. Don't forget to follow.